Hello again. Like I said, I separated out the second video just so that I could talk about 70mm uh, film and, and the difference that it makes. Now I'm slightly off-center here because I'm going to use this space over here, uh, hopefully for visual aids. It's long and boring if I just try to explain it to you, so I'm going to show it to you. So, first thing up here is going to be an image that I took of my backyard. Uh, I was using my tripod so that I could take pictures from exactly the same places. So a picture of my backyard at 4x3. Now 4x3 uh, aspect ratio is your normal like CRT monitor, normal old uh, cathode ray tube uh, TV. Next, 16x9. Uh, 16x9 is the aspect ratio for most high definition TVs and computer monitors. You'll see that it's, it's wider than it is tall. The reason you get letterboxing uh, when you look at like 1080p movies that you have on Blu-ray is because the theater format is actually 2.35 to 1. The 70 millimeter film that they're using, well, it's actually 65 millimeter film with 5 millimeters designated for audio. The end result with the lens that they're using is a 2.78 to 1 ratio, so it's almost three times as wide as it is tall. This is what a 2.78 to one ratio image looks like. It is wide kind of vista type thing. This is another image that I took. This is 2.78 to one. Uh, this is some geese that I, I took a picture of this morning while I was playing disc golf. Now if you look at it, it looks like a very panoramic view. It's very, very wide, very thin. There's not a lot of extra sky. There's not a lot of extra ground. It's a very, very broad view. Going back to the images of my backyard, 70 millimeter film as it's going to be projected is 2.78 to 1. So this is what it's going to look like. Here's a 2.78 to 1 image of my backyard. Now when they convert it to digital, odds are pretty good that they're going to show it in normal widescreen format for theaters, 2.35 to 1. So up top I'm going to have the 2.78 to 1 image. Underneath that I'll have what it'll look like if it's cropped down for theaters. And then underneath that, a 4x3 image. So this is what, the bottom one here, is what this image will look like if it's shown on a DVD. This normal DVD aspect ratio. The 70 millimeter film projected onto screen gives a very broad aspect ratio. And that's actually a lot more like our eyes process images. So when you're looking at images like this, when you, you can do vast panoramas of landscape, like the shots that you see in some of the shots that you see in the trailer, the snow, the carts coming, the focus on characters, very, very broad pictures. It gives a very good sense of expanse. Have you ever been in a situation where you're trying to take a picture of a bunch of people and you, there's a lot of people side to side, and you're trying to take a picture, but you have to keep backing away. You have to keep backing away and away and away and away and away and telling people to scooch in, scooch in, scooch in, because the, the ratio is four by three. That's, that's your normal standard image that you're, you're taking with a camera. So when you get all the way back far enough for all of those people to be in the shot, what you end up with is about a third of the screen is them, a third of the screen is above them, and a third of the screen is wasted space below them. The wide aspect ratio allows you to be closer and shoot all of those people while cutting out the sky and the ground that's unnecessary. What ends up happening when you're shooting things like inside of a wide open cabin, like it appears that at least part of this movie is going to be, is that you don't need to see the roof or the, or the floor, but you can do a wide angle medium shot and show all the actors interacting on one side of the room. It doesn't have to be this person, then cut to this person, then cut to this person, then cut to this person. You can do an image, you can do a recording that's almost like a stage play where you see this person, this person, this person, this person all at once. He's using the 70 millimeter film because of the types of things that you can do with it. And to go see it in 
a theater that has a 70 millimeter projector that can actually show the film from film directly onto the screen is going to be a very different experience. In any case, for those of you that stuck around, I hope this was interesting. I actually thought it was really cool when I started looking at it and seeing what the implications were of it. If you're interested in these types of things, give me a thumbs up, let me know. If this wasn't useful to you, I'm sorry. I separated it out so that it wouldn't be boring to anybody if they didn't want to click it. So hopefully it wasn't, hopefully it was just informative. As always, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, give me a like. And if you want to see these and all of my videos, don't forget to subscribe.